Best partner, Clayton Benner. Clayton, Rollins is trying to handle some expectations after starting off 4-0 on the first weekend. They lost three out of four last weekend in the Rollins Invitational. Yeah, and I asked Coach Robinson about it. Uh, the recent losing stretches. She said that they came in and they were playing a little tight. They were hitting the ball a little too hard and they're trying to manage expectations of winning because they haven't been this good in a while. So it's a new surreal feeling for them uh, be, being on the, the plus side of the win column. So now, just managing that and being more consistent. And Horsley's been the assist machine for this volleyball team so far, well over 200. As Gerard sends that one out of bounds. 272 assists so far this year. And last year, she almost had 1,000 during the year, but she came up just short, seven assists short because of a fractured tibia to miss the last two games. And that one goes into the net, so it's going to be a Rollins point off the serve from Isabella Ruhana. And Horsley, she has improved so much over the offseason. She's gotten a lot stronger. She broke a, a weightlifting record of 330 pounds deadlifting with the trap bar. So, wow, extremely strong from the center position. On that last point, it looked like that, that it, McBride's attack didn't even go over the net or touch anyone. And there was a little bit of a pause. The down judge, he was about to walk across the court in the middle of the play and then thought better of it. But you know what? As Rashid Wallace once said, ball don't lie. They got the point anyway. <laughs> ball does not lie. You're all right, Clayton. And a really interesting strategy being employed by the Tars. They've got two setters on the floor with Garza and Horsley. Oh, and yeah. Another block. I don't want it again. Garza. To Gerard from the back. Wow. What a save from McBride. Garza cross court wow. to Norris. It gets sent out of bounds. No, and then on the on the offensive play, Horsley, Garza, Norris. That setter, setter, hitter. Having two setters out on the floor is working wonders for the Tars. Here we go. It's all about that mental toughness. Closing a set in a close game. We talked about earlier, these close games really kind of defined who you are as a team. And it really defined Rollins last year. They lost a lot of these close sets, but now it's time to flip the script. And Bailey oh, yeah! sends it down! Oh yeah! That's gonna erupt the arena! Oh yeah! Just puts her hands out like, I'm her! I am her! She's done that multiple times, at least this set and across the game wide as Embry-Riddle takes a much needed timeout.